Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and for those of you who are new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys are notified as to when I post new videos. Today's makeup look was inspired by this new trend that is so in for spring and I'm sure it'll carry into summer. What about the holographic makeup? Um, I went ahead and paired this with a pinky look so it's definitely on the purpley and the pink side which makes it definitely feminine so I really really enjoyed how this turned out. I used some new products. I will give you guys my opinion of what I think of them once I've worn it and tried it out. If you're interested in seeing how I accomplished this look, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. To start off priming my face, I am gonna go in with the Heart Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. This has coconut water in it and it just helps prime the face and hydrate it at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off using this to begin prepping the face. Just a little trick I like to do before doing my makeup recently has been using an eye cream. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. I just like applying a little bit under the eyes just because we do tend to put concealer and powders on there and it does dry out that area and it's already like prone to aging. So I just wanna make sure I can take care of my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the under eye. And then just gently massage it with your ring finger and pat it into the corner. Keep the face looking nice, fresh, and glowy as every tutorial. So I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. Glotion. I've never tried this before. I actually just saw it at the store and I really like the Lumi one so I'm just you know, trying new things out, seeing how this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it onto the skin. And then I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna start blending that into the skin. of the Flower Beauty Cosmetics today. So for primer, I'm gonna be taking the Flower Beauty Perfecting Primer, and it looks just like this. And we're just gonna go ahead and add that onto the T-zone area, just wherever I have any larger pores, and I wanna make sure I have that nice blurred effect. And as I said, I'm gonna be going in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation. It claims to be a smoothing and blurring kind of foundation. It's supposed to get rid of any imperfections that you might have with it being lightweight. So I do want to try this out. So I am in the shade Tawny M4. Um, this is the first time I've tried it. I just picked it up at the store. So hopefully it'll be my shade. So let's go ahead and apply this puppy. I do like that this foundation comes with a pump because it keeps it from being messy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with a dome brush. And I am gonna just go ahead and pick it up from the back of my hand and apply it onto the skin. that this foundation is buildable. I do like my foundations to be medium coverage depending on you know what I'm doing for the day or where I'm going. So I think I really will like this foundation because of that purpose that you can build it up to be full coverage or you can just wear a little bit and have it be medium coverage. give you like a luminous glow which sometimes I'm terrified of it because I do have oily skin but we'll see how it wears throughout the day and then I'll give you guys um, my thoughts if I use it again in another video if I decide that I like it or not to fill in my brows I am gonna go in with the Maybelline brow definer I am in the shade deep brown and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly fill them in and then get started on our eye makeup You can 
concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Concealer. I am in the shade Medium Light, or at least that's the one that I picked up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes just to give us that nice, bright, and awake look. I really like the wand. Just hugs underneath your eye really nicely. And it's super creamy and it applies like butter. So, so far I'm digging this concealer. We'll see how it ends up looking after we do our full face. To blend that out, I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. It's nice and damp and I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly pat this into the under eye. Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Hazelnut, and I'm just gonna go in and apply this in the areas where I'm gonna bronze up later. Um, this is something new for me, so we'll see how this looks. I'm just taking uh, that foundation brush that we used earlier and I'm just gonna go in and blend this into the skin. Actually a pretty shade. It's nice and warm. Looks really natural. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. I'm just gonna take um, one of these sponges and apply it underneath the eyes, on the chin, and on my forehead. let that bake I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin I'm gonna set that contour in place with the revolution ultra bronze bronzer and I just like using this one because it's a nice cool tone and it's really pretty on the skin to set your contour the face I do want to focus on the eyes first I am going to be taking the Carly Bible palette for today's look I'm going to be taking the these two colors right here and a little bit of this one and applying it on the crease go in and take my Morphe M433 to apply those colors onto our crease I'm going to start off by taking this peachy brown shade. This is just going to be our transition shade. I just like applying a transition shade before going in with any other color. So just go in and place that on the crease and start blending it back and forth in a windshield wiper motions. Then I'm going to pick up that mauve shade right here and I'm going to go ahead and place it on top of our transition shade. This will just deepen up that crease and make it pop. For my 
my lid, I am gonna be taking this white highlight color right here. I'm gonna be taking it on my ring finger, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the lid. And just in the inner third. And then taking a little bit of that pink right here, I'm gonna place that on the out. Going back in with your blending brush, just go in and smooth out those edges so everything blends out nicely. live for an inner corner highlight we're gonna go in with the wet n wild um, royal calyx purpley highlighter i'm gonna go ahead and place this in the inner corners of my eyes and this is just gonna tie this whole look together We are gonna go in and do a subtle wing liner just because this look, I'm not gonna be wearing falsies as a usual, so I just wanna make sure that my lash line looks nice and full when I do my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a thin wing liner using the Milani Eye Tech Extreme, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our mascara. Maybelline brow pre-size. I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows. This just gives it a nice texture. It makes them stay on all day and yeah, I love this product. Now to finish up the eye look, I'm just gonna go in with a uh, E18 Morphe brush. This is just a pencil brush. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the two pinky shades This one and this one and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my lower lash line For blush today, I want to keep this nice and pink since our eyes are on the purpley side, I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty blush, and this is in the shade Warm Hibiscus, and if you can see, it's super pink and pretty, but it also has some hints of sheen to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the apples of her cheeks. in with a little bit of powder I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this area so it's nice and cleaned up and with a fluffy brush I'm just gonna go over that because we don't want a harsh line we just want to make sure it's cleaned up but it doesn't look weird you know To finish up my eye look, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express and just apply a coat of mascara onto my lashes before moving on and finishing up this makeup look. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, mascara is on. I'm gonna go in and spray my face again with the Hydrating Primer Mist just because we did apply a whole bunch of powders and so I just wanna make sure everything melts nicely into the skin. Since this look is very youthful and pretty, I'm gonna go in with this white NYX pencil in milk on the waterline just to kind of open up our eyes a little bit more and give us that doe-eyed effect and it also calls attention onto the eyes, which is what's the star of the show. That is done, we are gonna go in and highlight our face. I'm gonna do that using the Wet n Wild highlighter, the same one that we used on the inner corner. We're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that purple shade. 
and we're gonna throw that on the cheekbone area. Go ahead and mix a little bit of this wet and wild highlighter also but it's in the shade purple ashes and i'm gonna mix some of that onto the high points of our cheeks too because you know what you can never be too glowy we might have aliens knocking on our door but that's okay girl lips I do want to stay in the pink purpley holographic kind of vibe so I'm going in with the NYX soft spoken lip liner I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips I'm taking the color dopey from Colourpop literally have some alien slash Barbie vibes going on right now but it's super cute now to give us more glow and more of that holographic look to our face I'm gonna apply this lip gloss over our lips it is the cover girl melting pout and it is in the shade golden girl makeup look I'm gonna go in with the hard candy hydrating primer mist that we have been spraying on our face this whole time and I'm just gonna go ahead and set our makeup in place but yeah you guys this finalizes the look I hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out I'm definitely very into this vibe of the whole holographic theme for the makeup. It's super pretty up my alley when it comes to highlight. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.